To use a Digitrax throttle in either infrared or radio mode, you need to install a 9 volt battery. Notice right now that there is no display on the throttle. We're going to turn the throttle over. We're going to remove the battery cover by sliding it straight down. We're going to use a 9.6 volt PowerX rechargeable battery. To insert the battery in the throttle, notice that you have markings inside the battery compartment showing the negative terminal and the positive terminal. You insert the battery with the, the negative terminal to the top and replace the battery compartment cover, sliding it straight up. Notice in your display that you will see the voltage of that battery come up for just a fraction of a second. To remove the battery, simply press the battery down and up and out. Now, some people store the battery in the throttle by reversing the terminals, negative and positive, with the negative to the bottom. You can store the battery in this way without any battery draw, uh, drain taking place. Never place the battery in the compartment with the terminals to the left. That will create a dead short and it result in a lot of heat over time melting the plastic in the case. Digitrax recommends the use of the PowerX 9.6 volt battery which is rechargeable. This gives good battery life during your operating session and allows you to recharge it over and over.